Right behind me is Britain's largest radio telescope, the Chilbolton Observatory. And here it was that the greatest sensation in the crop circle history was to appear in the fields right in front of the telescope. On the morning of 14th of August 2001, a formation was discovered which was different from any other previously seen. From the ground it looked like a tangled mess, wisps of crops spread around in no system. However, in the evening with growing shadows, a picture appeared, unmistakably that of a face. That picture represented a whole new technique, a screen technique, the same that's used for printing a picture on paper. Three days later, the face was joined by something that looked like a data strip. Rows of counters made out of standing and flattened crop. But soon, an astonishing similarity is discovered. In 1974, the astronomer Carl Sagan composed a message that NASA sent into space from the Arecibo telescope in Puerto Rico. Binary figures, which constituted a graphic code, presenting key factors about humans and the planet we live on. Twenty-seven years later, an identical pattern appears in a crop field right in front of a similar radio telescope. However, on closer inspection, it seemed to show that the code contained some fundamental differences. Sagan's message explained our calculation system, the dominant chemical substances within the elements that create life on Earth, about our DNA code, humans' height and quantity, and that we live on the third planet in our solar system, and lastly, a sketch of our radio telescope. The message received described the same calculation system, but that silicon is most dominant in life forms in contrast to carbon. The drawing also clearly shows a humanoid figure with large head in relation to its body. It's also explained that they have an extra string in their DNA, are approximately four feet tall, inhabit the third, fourth and fifth planets in their solar system, and have a population of around 21.3 billion. Underneath, the telescope has been replaced by something more complex. One year earlier, a strange crop circle had appeared in the same place. Is this the same illustration as in the sender's code? Is this the correspondence radio telescope? If this is not an extremely clever and well-calculated joke conducted by humans, is it a serious response from an alien civilization? The following year, very nearly on the same day, a new picture appears that gives new force to the alien theory, this time in Crabwood, near the town of Winchester in Hampshire. Once again we see a face, but this time there is an unmistakable resemblance to something extraterrestrial. The picture also contains a print, somewhat similar to that of a CD, with something that appears to be a coded message. This formation also has a new type of design, this time with horizontal line patterns of variable thickness, similar to that of a TV picture. The message on the disc is similar to a spiral band built up of many boxes. But data expert Paul Weige manages to decipher the message. Um, so then I you know, did the straightforward thing, I just converted it into ASCII, uh, which is the standard sort of com you know, uh, computer language that you, you encode the alphabet in. Um, and of course I then started to get words forming out and I thought, oh, you know, I'm getting somewhere here. So I then did the whole thing for the whole lot um, and, and got this message. The message is in English and reads as follows. Beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but still time. There is good out there. We oppose deception. Conduit closing. Many have been surprised by this message. Are there aliens with such faces that we should be aware of? Or is this a picture of the sender?
Does this indicate the start of actual close contact with neighbors in the universe?